All right, everybody, welcome back to another tutorial that I have for you today. I want to go ahead and give out a big thank you to all my subscribers that have subscribed to me so far. I really appreciate all them subs, and I will continue to give out good, good content and about tutorials and also my behind the scenes videos um, as well. So let's get right into this tutorial for this week. For this week, I'm going to be showing you actually how to use the tone mapping um, persona on Affinity Photo. I'm just going to go hit the help button right here. As you can see right there on the very top, it says tone mapping. So I'm going to show you how to use that to get this photo right in front of me. Uh, this was created by using tone mapping. Uh, tone mapping is just another way that I use to just to make a, uh, a portrait interesting. Um, you know, or just give it a little bit more you know, interest and in, in sometimes using the depth and just create something different. Just to be creative is the reason why I use tone mapping sometimes in portraits. As you can see right here, uh, I use this as well. Uh, here's the original photo right here. Go ahead and click that off. Here's the original photo, as you can see. I'm going to click that back on what I did with the tone mapping. And there it is with tone mapping. Uh, like I said, just a little bit different. It looks like some, some almost a painter type effect. But uh, so let's just get right into it. I'm going to go ahead and cut off the, the final photo there. So what you want to do is you just want to go and click right on the tone mapping, which is this button right here. It's going to take you to the tone mapping persona. Now, this step is very, very easy. It's nothing hard to do at all. Uh, this is all your settings over that you can use all over here is all your settings um, I usually don't use that I usually use it when I do it but usually I just use presets so come up here to this little thing look like a setting thing hit that and then you get all your presets now the one I want to use for this tutorial specifically you can go through here and choose you know whatever preset you want to use but the one I'm specifically going to use is it's one of my favorites it's called zero compression sorry yeah zero compression right here this is my favorite all right someone hit it now as you can see um, this photo actually looks like shit um, it really doesn't look that well but all this is going to change what you want to do is if you want to come back after you hit the preset and you want to come here and change some of the the presets you can come here and do that you can come here and mess with the lower contrast to mess with it you know you can do it and tweak it as, as you like um, as you as your preference but for me, I'm just gonna leave it at like just like at that. I'm gonna come down here, hit apply. <laughs> it looks like it's gonna take a little bit of time, but it's it's okay. So now, after you got that, now I'm gonna show you how to get rid of it because you don't want a skin to look so dirty like it does right there. So. Uh, so now what I want to do next is just to uh, to apply it where I want to apply it at. I'm just simply going to go up here to the Layer Studio. Let me click the Layer Studio again. I'm going to hit the plus sign right there. And all I'm going to do is go to a mask layer. Now, as you can see, a mask layer uh, right here on top of it, as you can see, it's all white, of course, as, as the old saying goes, white, white reveals, black conceals. So we're going to go right over to our paintbrush tool, click it, make sure we get it on black, which we do. And then I'm just going to take away all the stuff I don't want showing, which is pretty much our skin. So I'm just going to come through, get rid of all the stuff on our skin. Like so. And our hair as well. I'm doing a messy job. My, my brush is pretty wide. So just to, just to give you an example. There we go. Take it out on my hair. Take out another arm over here. More of the hair, come down a little bit more, more of the hair. Now, as you can see, that's pretty much about it. That's that's it of tone mapping. Now, I'm gonna come because I don't think I like it on the shirt as much. So I'm just gonna come around and just take a little bit off of the shirt. Definitely up there. Where I'll come through here, take off a little bit there. I'm gonna keep it on the jeans because I like the way the jeans look. Now, as you can see right there, you're pretty much done. This is how you just do it creative stuff in the Fendi photo with portraits instead of your portraits always looking the same. I've actually done this on a few things with the opacity and turn some stuff down as you can see. But with this all said and done, it's, it's, it's a very simple trick uh, but yet powerful that you can use and very effective just to give out some more creative uh, portraits. So 
I like using it a lot. Like I said, you see, see how it really would have done to the to the background back here. It's, it's like one of the biggest things. You can see what it does to the background. Uh, that's what that's why I use it for because it really makes the background look really really cool. But at the same time, it also brings her out of the background, almost like that 3D effect, almost uh, just because you know what it done, done to the background, which is pretty cool. So uh, that was it with this week's tutorial. Like I said, it is tone mapping. Very very easy. Very very powerful tool. Uh, you can go in there and play with it yourself and, and see what type of portraits that you can really get out of and how creative you know you can get with using the tone mapping. Uh, this is just one example that I use it on. Uh, I have used it on a couple of my portraits, uh, mostly background and things things of that nature. Uh, not really necessarily on the model itself, especially not the skin and things like that of that nature. But uh, just really kind of depends. Like I, I've done some with black and white, uh, went in there and just really really just messed up things. I made a little bit of HDR type type portraits. Uh, which is pretty cool, you know, it's pretty cool. So uh, that's all for this week's tutorial. It's just all about tone mapping, and I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, once again, if you like my con my content, just go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. Please put some comments, and uh, if you want to have any other questions about anything else, but uh, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Uh, hit that like button for me. It really helps me out. Uh, no, it's not going to determine if I'm going to, you know, continue making content. I'm always going to continue making content because I just enjoy making content. Uh, like just to help out people um, that's looking for for help with Affinity Photo on iPad version. So once again, I really appreciate it. Uh, be on the lookout for the next next tutorial. And once again, uh, please like, comment, and consider yourself subscribing if you like my content. Until next time, see you later.